Hello YouTube, this is Andrew here. I'm just doing a screencast to show you how to play SNES or Super N Nintendo games on Onyx Mint 14 Cinnamon. <clears throat> so normally if you have Ubuntu or different kind of, um, of Linux, um, if you go into the software, software center or software manager or whatever it's called, Normally, it um, has this included under the games, under the games category, <clears throat> but for some reason, it isn't included in um, the Lynx Mint one. So if I if I do a search for Z SNES, this is the result, and it's a, it has a tick here to show that it's installed. It's not on the soft, on the software store itself. So this is the one you want, Z SNES. Dot dot I three oh six. So it explains how it works there. So quit that. So how you do it is you go into the Synaptic Package Manager. Type in your password again. Now this may seem a bit bit complex, but it's pretty easy. Just do this exactly and just easy. Just type in Z SNES. And this is the one that you want. You you right click and then press on Mark for installation, and that will automatically choose all the dependencies the dependencies that are required for ZSNES, and it will install those as well. So it's really easy to do. And um, by the way, that's how you uninstall it too. So you get um. So it gets rid of everything. So how I do it is I plug in um, a controller from the Xbox 360, one of the wired ones that has a wire. Plug it in there. Plug it into a USB port, sorry. Open the program and just choose a game that you have downloaded from a website. Um, these games are called ROMs, ROMs, read only memory I guess and um, it's just, a, it's just a, a very small file for the game to work so for example here is Oshie's Island I just turn the sound off so you can hear me still and it starts up and all that and you can save it um, save the game anytime you want to so I'll pick a save game I have here and press open so here it is so this is Yoshi and Baby Mario. So I'll pause it there. One thing you want to do though is go into the config and then input. And if you have if you have, if you have the gamepad plugged in, just choose the up, down, left, right, star select, A, B, X, Y, and left and right buttons. Um, you know, for you know, so you can of course play the game and if you if you don't have a gamepad that's fine just put in you know press a key on your keyboard and that you know is going to work as well but i prefer to have uh, like a gamepad though because it's more easy to play but it, as you see the game's a bit slow now because of because of the screencast and normally it's it's perfectly smooth this um this is a console from the 90s so it's pretty old now so it doesn't require very much you know power or CPU or you know RAM so it's very sort of lightweight so I'll just quit that and thank you for listening and watching whoops okay thank you goodbye